All right, welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Bash, and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today, today I'm just on my way back from filming another video, but it's been a minute since we spoke about the channel, spoke about the bikes, and really kind of got into what's been going on. And I guess at the midpoint of the year, halfway through in June, now is a great time to uh, to kind of review some of the goals that I set earlier in the year and and talk about uh, what's going well and what's not going so well. Number one, I mean, the the thing that has gone really well for me is the bike. The bike is pretty much done. There's a few things left to do. For example, um, powder coat the bars and stuff like that. Uh, sort out the brake levers, but those aren't, uh, aren't massive things. So uh, I'll probably get those done at the end of the year, but I'll include them in next year's mod list. So there will be a mod list coming very, very soon about this bike. While I am, you know, while I've got you all here, let's just uh, have a little quick stop in here. Right. So the case that I'm running now is the MagSafe case from uh, Quadlock. If anyone could tell me why this side of the case just doesn't seem to stay on anymore. Like I've checked and seen there's no rubbish and stuff inside it, but it just, it looks like it's gonna break, man. And it, it sketches me out running my phone in it. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows why that could be happening or if Quadlock are, are somehow watching this video, help me out, what's going on with the case? I don't understand. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, the mod list video is coming soon. I'm really, I'm really quite pumped about that to be honest. Like, that's going to be a really good video when it's all done. A lot of cinematics, a lot of like you know, interesting vibes, some more or higher end quality. My biggest production. I said it in the last video. I'm saying it in this one. Um, yeah, it is going to be a huge video. Other than that, um, I've had a few dramas recording and getting out to record. Like I literally went to record the other weekend and I had a massive water leak in my house and I, I had to sack off the day of recording just to come uh, to go and fix that leak, man. It absolutely broke me when I realized that, you know, I wasn't gonna be able to record because, well, it was, uh, yeah, there was water absolutely pissing out of my boiler. <laughs> not good, not good at all. <laughs> So yeah, I've, um, I said I was gonna post a video once a week during, like throughout the year, and I was gonna aim for a thousand subscribers. Well, TikTok's getting there. TikTok's on 830 something in followers. Um, I don't really post on TikTok. I keep forgetting that I've even got it, uh, to be honest. And then you've got, Then we got Instagram. Instagram's doing well. We're sitting at like 431 followers on there. I'm much more active on on Instagram, but I'm still not active enough. Like I post maybe once or twice a week, uh, mainly when I take the bike out, to be honest. Um, and now the weather's good. The bike's coming out a lot more, and I'm getting more and more time to go out and record, which is great. Um, and YouTube is actually, like, it's my favorite platform to record for. And that's sitting at 460 subscribers as of today, which is the 22nd of June. So absolutely buzzing on that. As it stands, I'm not on target to hit my thousand uh, subscribers. And for that reason, like, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be buying another bike anytime soon. Like I, the plan was to buy a Mutt Razorback 250 and turn that into a custom supermoto, which I like built myself. Um, because I'm unsure on that now, if I'm gonna hit that uh, goal, I'm, I'm kind of rethinking my strategy. I, yes, I haven't been out there pumping out content like I said I was going to. And the, the problem is it is just so hard to get that content out because of the fact that I'm, I, I have a full-time job. This isn't my full-time job. I wish this was my full-time job. 
getting paid to ride motorcycles. This wind's horrendous, so let's just get to the roundabout. God, I love this bike, man. I absolutely love this bike. Anyway, yeah, so I'm rethinking my strategy on how to uh, to approach this whole YouTube thing. I, I still am keeping my goal when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'll be looking to start buying that Mark Razorback to, well, you know, to get a part. I've, I've test run one. I really liked it. Um, and I do kind of want to do the supermoto. I am torn though between that and a Honda 300L, um, just something that I can take off-road as it is, and you know that will be a lot easier to modify than um, than the mutt. I think the mutt's going to take a lot more work to get it to the point where I want it. But it would be a cool custom bike, man, and not many people are doing it. So yeah, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Um, and I'll just say, like, keep keep sharing the content, keep liking the content, um, because it helps massively, and it is it is really doing numbers for the channel. And we, like to think, at the beginning of the year, I was like 200 subscribers, and now there's 260 more people watching these videos for a large chunk of the year. Um, I didn't really post, and I kind of like just made random videos. I didn't really have. A plan. I, I still don't really have a plan, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I know I want to go away and do more meets and stuff like that. And it is just a case of finding the time. Like I'm really struggling to get out. Um, August is a good month for me, and I am planning on doing a motor camp in August. That is the goal. Somewhere that's like hundreds of miles away from home as well. So really like, you know, throw myself into the deep end and just and send it and hope for the best kind of thing. So but that will be like a wild camp um, video. And I will be posting that on this channel, which will be, you know, hopefully one of the, the videos that kind of uh, helps this channel to grow because I don't know of many UK motor vloggers making that kind of content. Recently as well, I've started to incorporate the the second camera a bit more. I've got a GoPro session on the front of my on the front of my bike here. Um, not the best quality camera, but you know, it's not about the quality as much as it is about how you use the shots and stuff and to be fair i've like thrown it in and you can't tell that it's not 4k footage i like personally i don't think you can so i mean i've been using that just to get a second angle i would love an insta360 but right now that is not even close to being within budget so not right now but hopefully soon we'll uh we'll get one of them sorted just coming back through the town listen to a pop and bang it's because it's so warm and I've literally just poodled around for like 20 30 minutes oh it does sound so good though it's such a hooligan inducing noise that 270 degree crank every single part of me just wants to go and rip it <laughs> Um, I've updated artwork. I've started to reach out to some possible sponsors now. Uh, when I hit 300 subscribers, I did. And I'm still, like, you know, I've not heard anything back from a lot of them. It's to be expected. I'm not a massive channel. But every single part of me wants to bring sponsors on board, wants to, you know, get this channel up to a... Uh, a new level and I want to start using this channel to create giveaways and stuff and speaking of giveaways if you've not checked out my most recent video about why you should wear motorcycle gear link in the top of the video so link up here somewhere um, 
you should because once that video hits 250 likes I am going to start giving away a pair of these Akin Muto gloves I absolutely love these things they are like not wearing gloves I can use my phone with them on um, if you're a delivery rider or a just eat rider whatever and you're looking for a, a set of gloves to uh, you know wear while making deliveries these are the ones especially in the summer and like yeah it is it's massively important to uh, to wear that gear so i thought if i can help by starting to give away small bits of gear um while i'm a small channel then why not man like 50 pound pair of gloves yeah you're on them for free like that video tell me that you guys want to see more giveaways by hitting that like video by hitting that like video like button on that video so yeah we're on track for meeting some of the goals this year some of the goals have kind of fallen by the way so like i was saying the old um uh posting one video a week it i'm trying man but sometimes you just got to take a, a back seat and something else has got to take a higher priority like the house like the uh the full-time job you know if I didn't have a full-time job, I couldn't go out and, uh, and make these videos. So, I'm trying. That being said, guys, like the video if you do. Subscribe if you aren't already. And ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And, and, I'll see you on the next ride. Peace.